Hello all, good morning everyone. Today we will be looking into how a transition happens for a BA to PO in IT domain. So the agenda for the day is we will first see who is a BA and what does he do, what are his roles and responsibilities, his skills and then we'll see the PO, what are his responsibilities, his skills and then we will see a roadmap that leads from a BA to PO. So a business analyst is a person that uh, helps businesses to analyze their processes, the products, services and systems to improve current processes and make profitable decisions through insights and data analysis. A business analyst also helps the organizations to document business processes by accessing the business model and its integration with technology. The business analysts have emerged to have a key role in recent business scenarios. Some people think that the role of business analyst is to make money for the organization, which may not be true in direct context, but indirectly, yes, the actions and decisions taken by the business analyst do leave an impact on the financial prospects of the organization. The primary job responsibility of a business analyst is to communicate with all stakeholders and to elicit, analyze and validate the requirements to change to business processes, information systems and policies. A professional business analyst plays a big role in moving an organization towards efficiency, productivity and profitability. Before we jump uh, in this, we will see some basic prospect uh, perspective of a business analyst to help the organization succeed. The foremost priority of any business analyst will be to try understand following things. Understand what business does and how it does determine how to improve existing business processes, identify the steps or tasks to support the implementation of new features, design the new features to implement, analyze the impact of implementing new features, and finally implement those new features. Then we will see what are the BA roles and responsibilities. Business analysts can be from any sector and the role differs based on the sector. So they can be like a business analyst, business process analyst, IT business analyst, business system analyst. So these are the many different roles which a BA plays usability or UX analyst. Then the skills of a BA. A skills of a good business analyst is basically business analyst skills are judged on these four analysis attributes. One is analysis, then leadership, then business process and planning, and then technical knowledge. So analytical skills are an outstanding analytical skills will separate out a good business analyst. A good part of BA role includes business basics of business analyst, analysis, data, workflow, user or stakeholder inputs, documents, etc. The leadership skills is directing team members, forecasting budgets, helping team members with the problems, etc. Then comes business process and planning. It's the scope, the project scope, the understanding and implementing requirements of projects, identifying resources required for the project and so on. And finally is the technical skill. 
in which the IT sector few technical aspects are expected to know like operating systems, the hardware capabilities, the database concepts, networking, SDLC methodology, etc. Then we come who is a product owner. A product owner is responsible for ensuring the success of a project in Scrum. The product owner is responsible for managing and optimizing the product backlog in order to maximize the value of the product. A Scrum framework is an agile methodology that facilitates communication and self-organization within a team. A product owner is part of the Scrum team. The key responsibilities of a product owner are to define user stories and create a product backlog. The product owner is the primary point of contact on behalf of the customer to identify the product requirements for the development team. This product backlog will be prioritized set of customer requirements. Then the product owner has the complete responsibility and ownership of defining and even prioritizing user requirements. The product owner must communicate with the development team to explain the product features to be implemented. Any queries that come from the development team must be addressed by the product owner to, on key user requirements. The role of the product owner is to maximize the value addition of the products that are developed by the Agile Scrum team. The product owner must ensure that the user stories meet customer requirements. The role of the product owner is critical for companies that are keen to move to an agile based product development methodology. The product owner has to collaborate and work closely with various stakeholders such as customers, business leaders, development teams, project managers and other stakeholders. The PO responsibilities. First one is product backlog. Product backlog is one of the primary responsibilities of the product owner. He must uh, own and define the product backlog according to customer reviews and requirements. The uh, proper prioritization of the backlog based on urgency and criticality of the requirements must happen. Then comes development stages. A product owner must also be actively involved in the product development process. The objective and the vision change of the customer and the same needs to be continuously monitored and communicated to the development team. A uh, product owner must also be present in all the review calls and meetings. Acting as a primary contact point of contact for all the stakeholders. Then communicating customer vision. Uh, he must be having a clear perspective on the customer goals and objectives and uh, also for the relevant stakeholders and he needs to communicate it to them. Then it is adapt and anticipate customer needs. A product owner understands the market and industry as he's experienced in that and uh, uh, therefore he can anticipate the customer needs. And then it's evaluation of progress. Uh, product owner must be able to monitor each phase of the development cycle and in each part he must be the product development and review and suggest any changes or improvements on behalf of the customer. The transition or the, the responsibilities of uh, BA and PO and uh, the, the similarities between the BA and PO roles are shown as in the Venn diagram. 
so as we know that business analysts are the change makers the problem solvers and uh, the bridge between the stakeholders and the agile team the they question assumptions and requirements and find gaps and work closely with the stakeholders and smes to detail the requirements feature user stories and understand the requirements they work closely with the product owners to manage the user stories and epics the requirements modeling and elicitation data flow diagrams business rules dependency mappings smooth execution of sprints requirement clarification to the team maintaining the dependency map and the traceability matrix felicitation uh, support uh, uh, for users and uat and the business analyst also plays a role to support the po the product owner in, in delivering the detailed uh, artifacts so often the business analyst is also considered as the proxy product owner this allows the agile team to have a higher amount of access to the product owner's perspective so the critical responsibilities for business analyst we can see is managing user stories detailing out the requirements needs of uh, stakeholders clarifying the details of requirements with stakeholders impact analysis for changes and work closely with the product owner on the sprint execution then comes product owner the product owner has a vision of the product keeping the domain and industry in mind and the market needs their job is to ensure that the product meets the market and the stakeholder needs and they have to conduct the market analysis followed by the enterprise sort analysis the po also works with the go to market strategy of the product and it also tries to experience in the domain and the market industry or the domain and the customer expectation of the product the critical responsibilities of the product owner is market analysis enterprise analysis product vision go to market managing product features uh, work closely with the stakeholders and business analysts managing product backlog and overall iteration progress so there is indeed a far uh, fair amount of uh, overlap of the skills and responsibilities of the two roles and as the name suggests the product owner works like a owner of the product envisioning almost every detail and a business analyst gives the colors to the vision and makes it reality so if you see that the ba and po roles are product solution stakeholder management backlog story analysis conflict resolution etc that makes up a good business uh, uh, analyst and also a po transition to po <clears throat> so uh, once this is understood that will result in a winning product and a successful agile team the road from business analyst to product owner there are five steps in the transition uh, the decision making the learning fast then focusing on communication be the part of the team and avoid thinking up front are some of the things that uh, are uh, to be known uh, by the business analyst and we need to pay a close attention to more details in transition to make it the shift to make the sense and happen smoothly the business analyst writes the required documents development team follows the instruction sponsor approves the requirements the QA tests the development and the release manager releases the software 
and that is that was more complicated for the traditional approach to the scrum framework the product owner is also the sole person responsible for managing the product backlog optimizing the value of the work the development team also ensures that the product backlog is visible transparent and clear to all and shows what the scrum team will work on the next so finally the transition from the business analyst to product back owner can be uh, quite smooth if we understand what we need to avoid and what we need to learn and uh, be sure that a product owner communication is most important part and so he has to spend time with the team and uh, also use the empirism in his favor and uh, he should not forget that everything is upfront uh, he knows uh, he can ask questions and understand the uh, product better and he needs to keep learning constantly with the team through collaboration this will uh, help a business analyst to move to the product owner then comes certifications there are many certifications for a ba so this is the link that is provided that shows different different certifications and levels of certifications that you can do for ba and similarly for po so go on to these certifications to actually see uh, from where you can begin and what should be the path and uh, get those certifications and get yourself certified so that it will make you more uh, uh, upfront to get your uh, uh, role from BA to PO there are some reference books books for BA is this a guide to the BA BOK business analysis body of knowledge then agile and business analysis business analysis agility solve the real problem deliver the real value how to start a business analyst career and then seven steps to mastering business analysis same there are few books for po which i felt are very good to go through which is one is impact mapping making a big impact with software products and projects learn ux blue ocean strategy the power of moments and innovation games so okay so we have the reference links in our channel career stock these are the two uh, youtube videos which you can watch for uh, ba and the po so uh, visit this career stock channel and you will get these two videos over there so i guess this was a very informative session from how to transition yourself from a business analyst to a product owner and i'm sure this will help you to achieve this goal thank you very much to everyone and we will take another topic in next session till then bye bye